Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today I bring a video in comparison of uh, Favia versus Favitis and what's the difference. Well here, what you're looking at, I happen to have the different species and if you look at the upper left hand corner of this video you'll notice that I have a, a war coral which is called a green and red war coral that's a favitis okay now I thought I mentioned some factors that I have looked up on these corals first of all uh, sometimes it's very hard to tell the differences between a, a favia and a favitis now both are from the brain coral families and that being said uh, they tend to encrust uh, let's say on a on a core on a rock that you might have where you placed it or like let's say in this case what you're looking at on the plugs they'll start to grow grow bigger and encrust on that uh, plug uh, now the differences another characteristic is the favias they tend to have a meaty larger polyp which is the one that you're looking at on the right hand side versus the favitas they tend to have a smaller polyp type which of course is the one on the left and on the upper left now they are known to be kept in low to medium light uh, by that i'm talking about par values between 20 and a little over 100 par or better said in shady areas in your tank although with time they can be moved up to let's say to uh, medium par or medium lighting however all the way to the top of the tank is really not highly recommended because what that would happen is they probably might uh, lose their their color and their uh, polyp uh, extension uh, you know each polyp they'll tend to retract and eventually die so these corals really should be placed on shady uh, areas in your uh, tank uh, now one one other thing when it comes to the water flow well they are considered to do well in low to moderate uh, water flow feeding eh, well when it comes to these corals and being fed they can be fed either meaty um, foods like 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 let's say like a uh, little brine shrimps they can be fed pellets or plankton and uh, one final note if you notice the distance that I have on these corals although I have others uh, that are placed uh, these corals should be kept at least two inches apart now you might ask well why well because these uh, corals they uh, tend sometimes to uh, protrude some some type of uh, uh, filament sweepers now these uh, sometimes they can protrude out and actually sting uh, of the corals and they can either hurt it or actually kill it so in lieu of that I personally say that you should keep an eye on these corals when it comes to their neighboring corals and that's basically what, what I wanted to bring up in this uh, short video I hope you liked it I hope you found it uh, educational and informative if you did well hit the thumbs up the like button or sh or make a comment or share it with your fellow uh, youtubers and uh, reef keepers and if so uh, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel if you do subscribe to my channel uh, the little bell that's located next to the subscribe button if you hit that it'll trigger the notification where every time I go ahead and put a video out you'll be the first one to be uh, notified that I just uploaded a video so I do want to thank you for watching this video and as I always say on all my the end of my videos happy reefing thank you very much Bye-bye.